I greet you, my brothers and sisters, as I appear before you at this time. I don't have much to say. We have been praying and fasting for churches in Nigeria, especially northern Nigeria and uh, this massive church which is in Lagos, whose name I didn't mention, do I know which church I'm talking about? So the intercessors have been praying since Monday and uh, I also, by the special grace of God, I am part of the intercessors whom God has conscripted to act as spiritual soldiers, to humble ourselves before God, to plead for the preservation of the lives and the blood of the people concerned. because of the agency of the matter that are shown in a vision. I wanted to send prayer points from the beginning of the week, but the Holy Spirit corrected me and said, those whom are conscripted to intercede for Ukraine and Russia, and also for the churches in Nigeria, I'm going to direct them by my spirit as to how they will intercede. So you realize that it's only tomorrow, later in the afternoon, that uh, we are going to circulate via our website and also via Facebook, our Facebook pages, some general prayer points. The prayer points will be in two parts. The first part will cover churches in Nigeria and this massive ministry in Nigeria attracts a lot of foreigners. Um, I don't want to speak a lot of details because God told me that I should not reveal the name in a public broadcast. Um, we are still praying. And because of what the devil is planning against this massive church, and because of what they've gone through uh, in recent times, I've got a strong feeling that uh, I have to reach out to some senior people who are connected to this massive church in Lagos so that they tighten their security. Whether it be security when they are dealing with foreigners or security when they are dealing with their own people there, the Nigerians that they tighten the security. They need to tighten the security until this cloud of terrorism has passed. Uh, I believe they are spiritual and so they'll be able to know when the cloud of terrorism has passed. But at the present moment, uh, the way I see it in the spirit, the cloud has just risen from the eastern side. Uh, the enemy is still at the planning phase of whatever they want to execute. So the plans of the enemy, they need to be thwarted. Whether the devil activates these human beings, these nefarious human beings, to implement their wicked plans, or it doesn't activate them. Our job as intercessors is to fast and to pray, to plead with the Almighty God for the surfeit of these innocent lives who will be gathering and congregating to, to be in contact with him through worship and through praise and also through ministration of the leaders uh, at those churches, including the churches in northern Nigeria. And one place that we need to pray for, talking of churches in northern Nigeria, it's a city called Abuja. The terrorists are planning to attack this city called Abuja. If I'm not mistaken, it is the capital city of Nigeria, Abuja. There are quite a number of churches there. There are quite a number of places where people meet. Security forces need to be alert in Abuja. They need to be alert. 
the JNM the term through people with nefarious motives does not rest, is not resting, so they should not rest on their laurels because the devil is planning evil against them. So that is that. So we need to continue praying. So and then on the situation in Ukraine, we must continue to pray and allow the Holy Spirit to pray for the Russians and the Ukrainians through us. Uh, the advice that I'll give to intercessors is that uh, just avoid formulating your prayer points using mass media because you may be misled. I don't want to say a lot. But if you want to make effective prayers for Russia and Ukraine, I advise you to rely on the Holy Spirit. Don't rely on what you see on this channel or that channel, this website or that website. We Christians are not led by website. The Bible does not say in Romans 8 verse 14, as many as are led by website, there are sons of God, or as many as are led by news media or mass media, there are sons of God. It's as many as are led by the Spirit of God. There are sons of God. It's written there in Romans chapter 8, verse 14. In Romans 8, verse 14. It's written. It says, for as many as are led by the Spirit of God, these are sons of God. So we need to disentangle ourselves as intercessors from interpretations of world events by the mass media. How the mass media may be interpreting events that we are looking at is different from how God views events that are unfolding before our eyes. If we manufacture prayer points out of what the mass media is saying, we won't go anywhere with God because God does not listen to how human beings are, are synthesizing situations. He listens to how we allow the Holy Spirit to articulate our situation to him. Prayer must be entirely based on revelation, not on ESA. The Bible says, the nation will rise against the nation and kingdom against the kingdom. And then it says there will be rumors of wars. So in a situation like the Ukraine-Russia war or the Russia-Ukraine war, there is a lot of rumor mongering, a lot of name calling and blame shifting and blame apportioning and so on. We Christians, we are Christians who are led by the spirit of God. We take the sight of God the Father, not the sights of human beings. We are where God the Father is. And what we seek in any situation is the will of God the Father. The will of God the Father is for the window of peace to be exploited by the protagonists in that conflict, the Russians and the Ukrainians whom they invaded. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray for churches in northern Nigeria and all over Nigeria, and especially this massive ministry in Lagos, which recently experienced very serious problems. And they are just trying to emerge out of those problems. May you protect them, Lord. May you protect churches all over Nigeria. May you secure the capital city of Nigeria, Abuja. May you protect it from terrorists. May you alert the security authorities to be on alert, to be on the lookout, so that the enemy is foiled as they are planning evil. In Jesus' mighty name, may you energize the intercessors. I know Nigeria is a Christian country. You know there are Muslims in Nigeria, but it's a country where there are some of the most inspirational and some of the most marvelous Christians that I've ever seen, whose stature 
and depth in the things of God is something that I aspire to, to attain. Nigeria is very close to my heart, Almighty God. May, may you touch the many millions of intercessors in Nigeria to intercede for their country and foil all the plans of darkness. May you touch intercessors all over the world to foil all the plans of wickedness. In Jesus' mighty name I pray, amen.